If you ask me, my major reason to learn programming is to make games. And I'm sure that's the case with most of you. But if you are one of the people who pick Godot and doesn't know anything about programming, the first step for you is to learn basics of programming. You should at least know about variables, if statement, loop, functions and other basic things. I will recommend this intro to GD script video by GDQuest. But you can learn wherever you like. Now game development is not as simple as it looks. And if you are just starting with Godot, chances are that you will drop it early. Because there are so many things to learn. And many of you start to create something complex in the beginning. Which is similar to climbing multiple stairs at once. So to save you from hitting the game development and yourself, I have created this roadmap that you should follow if you are a complete beginner. Now before jumping on the roadmap, I want you to understand that game development is not just about coding. There are different fields like sound effect, background music, graphic design, color palette and much much more. All of this when combined together creates a high quality game. So as a beginner, you should keep two things in mind. First, never compare your games with any AAA games. These games took many years and a huge team to create, which is very difficult for you to create alone. And second, as a beginner, you should not spend too much time in creating art and music for your game. There are many websites which offer free art and music for your game. And once you get all of the basics of Godot, then you should think about learning other things. Now coming to our roadmap, the first step is to create some kind of mini games. The mini games should be simple and should only take you couple of hours to create. Because when you have something that you can show to your family and friends, you feel happy. And creating your first ever game will give you a lot of happiness and motivation. And since you are just starting, you want to experience that as soon as possible. So my suggestion would be to create a Flappy Bird game. While creating Flappy Bird, you will understand many important things like how to add gravity to objects, how to add and delete objects while your game is running, how to add randomness to your game so that it feels new every time you play it, and also how to add sound, saved and loading of data, and many more things. After that, in our next step, we will increase the difficulty a little bit by creating a simple platformer game or something similar to Super Mario. With platformer, you will learn some of the most important things like using a tile map to design your level. You will learn about 2D player movement. With platformer, you will also understand how collision layer and collision mask works. Also during this, you should also learn about transition. I will recommend you to start with fade in and fade out transition. And you will also learn some other important things like how to use animation player, how to code enemy movement and how to set up traps and many more things. Once you are done with the platformer, the next target is to create a top-down shooting game and to be specific, a zombie survival game. The main thing you will learn in shooting game is shooting and you will understand how bullets are fired and how they deal damage to enemies. Also in your platformer game, enemies are just moving mindlessly. But here, enemy will start chasing you once you get close to them. You should also learn how to create health bar system for enemy and player. And you should also learn about auto tile, which is one of the most helpful feature of Godot. And at last, you should add a pickup system in your game, so that you can pick up different weapon that enemy drops. Now while creating this third game, there are high chances that the tutorial you are following will not create the game as I said in this video. For example, maybe they don't program zombie to chase you or they didn't tell you about auto tile. So in that case, you have to add those mechanics on your own. You can easily find videos on specific mechanics on YouTube. Now since you have learned almost every important thing to create games, it is now time to learn some useful thing that will make your game look better. And the first thing that you should learn is particles. At least you should learn to create explosion and smoke using particles. After that, you take a look at the world environment node. For 3D, you have a lot of different things to do. But for 2D, all you should care about is glow and color correction. After that, you should try to learn about shader, at least the simple one. And even if you don't want to learn the shader, you should at least use them in your game. There are thousands of shader available for you to just use it. After that, there are some other things like light 2D, yield function, raycast node and twin node that you should definitely learn. So according to me, this is the roadmap that you should follow if you want to learn Godot. And I can say, after creating all three of these games, you will be able to create almost any kind of game you want. Also you need to keep one thing in mind that the things I mentioned in this video are just to guide you in the beginning. After that you should always look around and learn new things. Because game development is a never ending process. They just keep getting better and better and better. Better? 